Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Oracle of Ages. My name's Kirby Viper 93 you can call me KV if you like. In the last episode, we went through the woods in the past as well as the present. Uh, we got the mystery seeds and took them to Queen Ambi. And we got bombs, so that we can get into the second dungeon. So, after we're restocked up on supplies, let's just walk right into level 2, the wing dungeon. Do, do. Is this? Oh, yeah, you know what? I think this is where we get the item that I usually keep on my default. Um, so now that we have Mystery Seeds, we can actually use them on these Owl Statues. That's really about all that they're good for. Good defense is the best offense against Spikes. Um, once we have an item later on, they will actually be a bit more useful. Um, as they sort of have a random effect. Oh, God, we're sort of getting rushed. So this is where you need the shield. So you just, like, pull them out. And, ow, you... Bump them with your shield to flip them over, and then you slice them, easy peasy. Uh, I guess that opened up this door over here. Um, okay, so here we go with another dice puzzle. Uh, you can see the blocks around this torch are red, which means that we have to make the top of this die here be red. Blue, red, blue, red, blue. And if you just pushed, yes, if you just pushed it straight forward, it would not come out red. It would, in fact... Be, yeah, see, I did it again. Damn it. That is annoying. Um, hmm. So you have to make the red side show up top. Like this. Here we go. This is better. There's all kinds of dice pushing like that. It has to match if you want to be able to move on. Oh, so here we got ropes. We'll only rush you when you're in their line of sight. Let's uh, blow up this wall over here. I believe, yeah, see there's a chest right here, I think this is, yeah, that's the map, okay. Thought it was the compass, but I was wrong. So here we go, through the wing dungeon. Um, oh man, yeah, this one's kind of obnoxious. Uh, this is not my favorite dungeon of all time. Ow, Jesus. Keys, again. So there's those, I don't know what those things are called, but they're annoying. Uh, I think you can... There's only one item that can kill them, and right now we don't have it, so really it's just best to try not to get hit by them. Uh, no, let's leave bombs out for now. Though, these little... I guess, are these moblins? Jeez, I don't even know. Everything's a moblin now. So we got a key. Uh, this is all we... Yeah, see if you hit select, you go to the map screen. I neglected to show that off in the first one, and I hit the button by accident this time. So let's go through and back so until we find a locked door. Oh, you know what? Yeah, see, this is what I meant by backtracking. We gotta go all the way back to that room where the little turtle guys were. <sighs> I would cut, but I mean, we're almost right there anyway. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not worth it to cut. Alright, so let's pull out the shield now, just in case. I think, because I think they respawn. Yeah, they do. I'll uh, just run away. Back off. Use the key. And now, we gotta kill all these ropes. Why can't I hold all these ropes? It's pretty... Am I missing one? Or just killing... I guess killing all those ropes does nothing. So let's go up here and grab this chest first. See, there's the compass. I knew it was pretty quick along here. And then, pull the bombs out again to blow up this wall. So... I think you don't actually get anything from killing all these guys. There isn't a key in this room because we didn't hear a beep. Uh, yeah, you'll get ow. You will frequently get to a lot of these little mini side-scrolling type areas. They're pretty cool. I like them. Uh, that's like a thwomp almost. This isn't Mario. What are you doing here? Ow, Jesus, I fell. That's what I get for being all gung-ho and slicing at him. Ah, I did it again. Jesus, you think I'd learn the first time. So, you just run underneath him to move on. You cannot jump, though, which really makes the whole platforming bit more difficult. See, this is where you kill all the ropes. I knew uh, there was one in here. Chest appears, and you get another key! So you really do have to go through all this. There really isn't an optional room in any of these dungeons. Alright, so I'm going to go through here, and I'll meet you back over there in a second. If I don't die. Which I might.
Oh no, I died. Damn it. Shit. So let's just continue. It's quicker anyway. Start over at the beginning of the dungeon. That was terrible. That's what I get for just falling off twice. That was just my bad. I apologize. I used to be so good at this game. It's just been too long, that's all. I blame time on a time travel game. Uh, so you don't lose any progress, which is a good thing. Uh, let's kill this guy. See, that's where you need the key for, so it wouldn't have mattered if we went up in the first place. Uh, ooh, minecarts. Here we go. So here we got the minecarts. Uh, anything on the path of the minecart when you're over it will just be run over and die. You can still slice and use all your items, obviously. You just can't move out of the minecart until you hit the end of the track. Like so. So what do we got? Oh, here we got a sub-boss. This is one with no wings is no match for me. I do not remember this guy's name, but he is a pain in the ass. He's floating in the air, so there's nothing you can do until he crashes down and makes a hole in the floor. If you fall down, you have to come all the way back up, I believe. Maybe this, maybe not. It's a different boss. Maybe you just take damage. Let's not find out, huh? <laughs> I've already died once. Oh, I didn't think to restock on hearts when I was back in the beginning room. Oh, well. This is not going well for me. And after he takes more damage, he'll even bounce more than once. Uh, once it gets to that point, you want to try and get him to bounce on the edge tiles, the blue ones, because they can't break. Jesus Christ, you are annoying. He takes a lot of hits. This is... See, there we go with the second bounce. I think he will bounce up to three times. And he moves even faster. Ow, Jesus. This is... I hate this. I hate him so much. There we go. He's done. Thank God. Grab the fairy drops. So we're at full health. Uh, yeah, this... That staircase just leads... Does it? I think that staircase just leads... Yeah, down and over to the room where you drop. And I think if you fall down, you have to start over... Yeah, you have to start over that entire battle. It's a pain in the ass. I used to be so terrible at it. So we go down these stairs to the lower level of the dungeon. So these, whatever those guys are. I don't know all of the enemy names. I never cared for them. I, these guys kind of look like Grim Reapers, even though they don't really have scythes. And they're not quite Stalfos, so Jesus, slimes. I'm sure they have a better name too. Um, up these stairs. We have another one of these thwompy guys. God damn it. I hate him. Ow, ow, ow. Jesus, try not to get stomped on. Here we have the item of this dungeon, the rock's feather. This button, button, this item allows us to press the button it's equipped to and we can jump now. How cool is that? This is, this is the item that I usually keep as my default just because there's so many pits around that it's easier to just, damn it. You just have that out for navigation. Because you can use your sword to kill just about anything else you need. So, here we go. We need to make it over here. Damn it. Jesus. Oh, I'm going to die again. Hope I don't. Hope that keys has a heart. God damn it. I will probably cut to whenever I make the jump. See you guys in just a second. There we go. <sighs> I forget what's over. There's, is there seriously nothing over here? I made that jump for nothing? Holy shit. That is just aggravating. Why is that even a possibility then? Son of a bitch. Alright, so we try not to die. Drop a heart. Somebody drop a heart. You, Keys over here. Drop a heart. You, you bro. See, there's rupees up there, but I don't care about those. I'm plenty of rupees now. I'm gonna regret that later, I'm sure. See, here's another one of those puzzles. You gotta make this match that block there so that you can move on. Uh, yeah, see, it's just rooms like this with all kinds of pits. Shit, I fell and died again. God damn it. Uh, this is just, I'm not off to a good start in this video. I will meet you back in the room I was just at. Okay, so, let's do this for real. God damn, I apologize for just the terrible terrible playthrough quality of this episode. I'm usually not this bad at the game. See, I really do need to practice. 
Alright, so this is another interesting room. We've got the switch that changes the direction of the minecart track, as you can see. Um, this stoplight actually gives you some indication of what you're supposed to do with dice. You have to make it blue so you can get through. Easy enough. Oh, there's a bomb of a wall I almost missed. I think, you know what? I may have lied and I said there aren't any optional rooms in here. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, there's a key. Never mind. I thought this was just like a treasure room. So, all you gotta do is kill all the enemies in typical Zelda fashion. Um, and I might not even make it through this dungeon all the way in the first try. Whose fault is that? Because I died twice. Jesus. Alright, so now we take this minecart through, as, as we can do that now. Those doors there, you can only get through with a minecart. So now, take out the feather again to make these match the left and get another key. P hats suck. You can only attack those when they've landed on the ground. So now, I made it back to these stairs. We can unlock a block here. And then, yeah, we have to take the minecart. Okay, so we go down through here. What is this room? It's, oh, Jesus. Okay, so, do we have to, oh, ah, okay. We have to jump down through here, move over, jump, not get knocked off by keys, and change the color of this so that we can get through. And Jesus, that's annoying, because we have to go back through the mini boss room even. Take the minecart. I think we're close to the end here, but I might have to cut it right before we get to the boss, just because of the sheer amount of fail that took up too much time in this episode. <sighs> so we just... There's really nothing you can do. You gotta wait for the minecart. The minecart takes you to the end here. This chest. Yep, just a Gasha seed. Not important, but... You know, nothing wrong with Gasha seeds. I don't... Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna run through it now. Fuck, 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 fuck! Damn it. Alright, so... Nope, not again. Get out of here. I can't kill him right now. Okay, so... Right now, what you gotta do... This is... Just an easy, interesting puzzle. You just push this jar over to that switch. Jump over the pit. Don't get knocked off by P-Hats. I've done that God knows how many times. I hate it. I just did that because it seemed like an easier jump. I could have done it from the top. Fuck you, P-Hats! Oh, I was hoping you had a heart. Um, oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, yeah, this room. Okay, so the color of that little panel there determines what color statue you can push, and you have to make the statues match what is over there. It's easy enough. I'll just fast forward. It's tedious pushing. Here we go. And there we go. So now that you make the match, you get another key. And you know what? I think I'm going to cut it here for now. We'll finish up the dungeon in the next episode. I'm Kirby Bike for 93. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the, ow, in the next one.